<laughs> Good morning, everyone. Well, today it's going to be... The, it's called the, the Muffin But Possibilities, and it's from Thomas Bagels, again. And they make really great raisin, raisin cinnamon bagels. I'm trying to find something that doesn't have so much sugar. And this has zero sugar. I can't even see what I'm doing here. Okay, there. Oh, what the heck. I've already toasted this bagel. And this is how it looks. I put some butter on it though. This is how it looks before you put anything on it, like cinnamon. I put a bunch of cinnamon on here. And I'll show you that very quickly. There you are. Maybe I should um, make this kind of like a thumbnail. Which is the top? What did I do here? Oh, I had it backwards. <laughs> That's how it looks. Let's put this up here too. And please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And ring the little bell so you'll be notified of future future uploads. There we're getting it all in there at once, right? Okay, phony smile. Social media smile. There we are. We'll set this over here for now, but I got to get to this. Why am I wearing my glasses? Why did I do that? I hate to wear my glasses. I'll leave it like it is. What the heck? I'm not even going to do the, the uh, thumbnail again. It's good and hot now, so let's stop talking. Which is the top? Which is the top? Which is the bottom? I can't tell. Very crunchy. You see, I put all this cinnamon in here just now. Cinnamon is supposed to be pretty healthy. If you have any information to the contrary, please alert me. Because I tried to read about it and it seems like it's okay. It's also supposed to... It's supposed to have qualities that reduce the amount of sugar so it might be good for diabetes which really matters to me so crunchy mm -hmm. I like it just a little bit burned a little too brown Tastes like charcoal, just right. Of course, a lot of people eat this sort of plain, but I'm trying to find a way to get more cinnamon, find something that doesn't have a bunch of sugar. Hmm. And I forgot my napkin. That is so smart. Well, the thing is, you see, it's it's uh, flooding outside. It's raining a lot. I don't know if you can hear it, but I'm afraid I could lose the power here at any moment. And I can taste that cinnamon I put on here. And I put a lot, but I probably put a lot more if I did this again. This is the first time I've been I've been trying this. Well, rather last night was I got one and tried it. 
just plain though. It wasn't very tasty, but it's just plain, of course. I'm trying to find something I can have at night, like a little snack that puts on. Um, it doesn't have any sugar or not much and it's kind of healthy so I thought if I got these plain ones that have no sugar and put a little cinnamon on it that would be good but I think I'll just have half half of one I could uh, like after after supper So I put butter on here with the cinnamon and kind of um, smeared it down, you know. Hmm. And before I toasted it, and I can smell the bread, you know, it's not a, a sweet smell because there's no sweet on it. But it's just a very natural kind of smell. I think I could definitely have this as an addition, try it for a while, like after supper. Half of one of these toasted with a bunch of cinnamon on it. Can you hear the rain? Really coming down. It's good. You can put other stuff on it like whipped cream or maybe strawberries or something. I might have that sometime. So crunchy. Mm. Little muffin has no no smell really it's the cinnamon when I finish this I'll tell you a little bit more about the product but the main thing is to finish this while it's hot Yes, I'm very happy with this. You can put whatever you want to on it besides whipped cream or some kind of fruit. You can put a teaspoon of two teaspoons of sugar on here if you want to. I bet that would be good and then toasted, but I'm not doing it.
because it has carbohydrates because you know it's bread so carbohydrates can turn into sugar but it's just one just one muffin <laughs> I wish I'd fixed two. Muffin, but possibilities. Here's some kind of thing you can scan down here. What's that for? Let's see. Earn and redeem points for tons of cool limited edition merch. What kind of merch? It says here that you can. I can't hardly read it now. The way you scan this little thing down here, I've never done that before. I don't know how that works. When it tells you to scan something. It's a contest that ends September the 15th. Available, available while supplies last. No cash value. Well, I don't know what it's about. But you can go check this out on muffinbutpossibilities.com. That's muffin but possibilities, not nothing. But nothing. Nooks and crannies perfection. Here's the instructions in case you don't know how to fix this. Split. Using your hands or a fork, gently split the English muffin in half. And had to use a very sharp knife to get this done. A blunt end knife would not a blunt would not work so well. Then choose your desired toaster setting. Toast to a light brown, not a dark brown. Well, I like it just a little bit, a little bit dark. And then top with uh, whatever your favorite toppings are and enjoy. And the first item, see the six of these in the package. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six in the package. It has a little bit of calcium. Total sugar is zero percent. Five grams of protein has no saturated no saturated fat at all. And the first ingredient in here is enriched wheat flour. So it's not a particularly healthy kind of, of ingredient. And the name of the bakeries is Bimbo Bakeries, B-I-M-B-O, Bimbo Bakeries from Horsham, Pennsylvania, and they have they have bakeries in Maryland, California, Connecticut, Riviera Beach, Florida, different places. So that's about it. There's some writing up here, and this looks really good. The way they put some up there, they put some kind of butter on it but um maybe that's not the healthiest way to go english thomas english muffins original there's some writing here that i can't read very well welcome to a world of possibilities maybe i have a flashlight i need some kind of light because i can't see very well without my glasses. I can't see at all without my glasses anymore since my surgery. So I need, I need these to be able to read anything. Whether you are, well, I'm not going to read all that stuff. I'll save it. Anyway, I hope that you liked the video and, and let me know if you've, if you tried any of this, if you've heard of it. And tell me what you think about it and how you like to fix it. What do you have it with? And I guess that's all today, and listen to the rain some more.
Peace out.